Christian. Ha! There you go. Um, what's up, y'all? Um, so today, I figured, since I got the entire studio to myself, I'm going to guide you guys through a shoulder mobility and stretch workout. football, boxing, running track, I've experienced a lot of shoulder injuries. I had two operations on both sides, uh, the cuddlers on my uh, shoulders are completely gone. So I always have to take care of my shoulders ex especially and uh, make sure that I'm warmed up, that the blood flow is not restricted so that I don't injure myself. I'm trying to prevent it, not necessarily eliminate it, but more prevent it so you can just have a look. So, first exercise that I do for my shoulders is to foam roll my latissimo dorsi uh, just to uh, relax the muscles up here and get the blood flow going. Being on some chair. From here, we want to go over to the scapulars. Make sure that we get in those shoulder blades. And find some mobility. We go zero to a hundred real quick. Maybe you on that rap to pay the bills. And now I'm fed it, not even a little bit. Oh. oh Lord, know yourself, know your worth. My actions being louder than my words. How you so I've been still so done a This one goes specifically into the deal toys, man. Done a earth. Wanna do it, we can do it. Oh Lord, I'm the rookie in the vet. Shout out to the I ain't holding down the set. All up in my phone looking at pictures from the other. Make sure you breathe, okay? Don't hold your breath. Hey, she gonna be upset if she keeps scrolling to the left, dog. She gonna see some that she don't wanna see. She ain't ready for it. If I ain't the greatest, then I'm headed for it. Yeah, that mean I'm way up. Yeah, the six ain't friendly, but that's where I lay up. Okay, that should do. That's how you can start and warming up your shoulders with easy, handable. The best thing over a foam roller would actually be a real massage. But if you cannot afford or don't have a masseuse therapist right next to you, just use the foam roller and do those exercises that I've shown you. All right. Okay, hey guys. So um, the second thing that I do is to use the resistance band. Um, when it comes down to your shoulders, you want to make sure that you do not just warm up your shoulders just like that. So you want to get down into those deep tissues, the muscles that we can't really see with our physical eye. And make sure that we strengthen those muscles that are around the rotator cuff. You just use a regular resistance band. You want to take a resistance that is light, not too strong. You put it around your hand once. I know most of you guys see a lot of guys in the gym doing this. That's not how it goes. So we want to be specific. The first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that we have our arms in a 90 degrees angle, okay? We squeeze our shoulder blades together, tuck our chest out, tuck the belly button in, and then drive our chin back. So we want to look straight ahead, drive our chin back, have the chest out, and then keep our elbows close to our body. I know there's a lot of information, but remember, you want to keep the elbow close to your body, your arm in a 90 degrees angle, squeeze the shoulder blades, chest out, tuck your belly button in, chin out, look straight forward, and then pull. Pull. Should be too close. I'm up, lay up. I've been Steph Curry with the shot, been cooking with the sauce, Chef Curry with the pot, boy. Same thing on the other side. 360 with the wrist, boy. Hey, who the is, boy? OVO, man, we really with the boy. Yeah, really with the. I should. Okay, so there are various ways in order to get your shoulders going. Since we started on working with the foam rollers, making sure our rotator cuffs are warmed up, we want to go over to the deltoids, which is the front part of the shoulders right here. You probably sound a hit, boy, because I got all the hits, boy. <laughs> Make sure that you get in the same position. Ready, button tuck. Glutes squeeze, shoulder blades up, squeeze together, chest out, chin in, 
face forward and then lift your arm. Only as far as you can. Thought that Drake, you got a chip. I be on my little mouse drip. Thought that rap to pay your bills. Yeah, I'm on some rappers, pay my bills. All up on TV, I thought it made me richer. Wasn't pay you don't want to go above the range of motion that your shoulder can give you. As you progress, you'll get stronger and, and able to give your shoulders more room to move better. Okay? Third way that we want to work on our shoulders. You're paying me enough, I needed something quicker. So now I'm all in eco basement putting working on the. Then we want to pull back. One. Two. Three. Good. Four. There you go. Five. Make sure your thumb shows out. Six. Good. Seven. Good. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay, so now that we went through warming up the face here with the foam roll, now that we after working with the resistance band and making sure that the blood flow is going, we want to go over to mobility exercises. I'm going to give you guys two exercises that I do. They're pretty tough. I'm not going to lie to you guys, but they are very effective. So what we want to do is make sure that we press our toes, that we flex our toes and get them into the ground. Squeeze your glutes. Make sure that your butt is squeezed. You want to face down, arms up here. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Keep your head straight down forward so that you can have a complete straight line of your spine. Thumb up. And then you want to come up and swim. One. Five will do. You can do three sets of it back to back. It is extremely tough. But this is the first progression. I'm gonna show you guys the second progression. Okay, guys. Well, my back is on fire. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Um, this is the second progression. Make sure that you get a balance pad, get a pesky ball, and get, get some small one pound weight. So you wanna get on the ball, have it around your pelvis area, okay? Make sure you squeeze your shoulder blades together, squeeze your glutes. And then you have your arms right here. You wanna have your thumbs outside in order for your rotator cuff to move in the right direction. You wanna face down, keep your chin in, come with your arms up, rotate it back. Okay, um, I guess that's enough for today. You guys have seen how I work on my shoulders. Um, doing this once a week is perfect. If you can do it twice a week, that would be great. Um, so guys, remember the foam roll to make sure that you can release any muscle tension that you have in your shoulders, scapula, uh, latissimus dorsi, all your deltoids. Um, make sure that you can start the blood flow going Use the, uh, the resistance band in order to make sure that the blood goes through your rotator cuff. It's very important. Don't overextend it, don't overdo it. And then at last, put in, incorporate those two shoulder workout exercises that I've given you guys mobility work. And you should be good to go. If you do that once a week, twice a week, you'll see an, an, an amazing strength coming in along together for your shoulders. And um, yeah, I guess that's it, man. My name is Alfred Timo. Bye.